Hi, we're friends, so today we're gonna to be making the best calamari you've ever tasted. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the ingredients will be down there as well. In today's video, we're gonna be cooking some calamari. Now, if you don't know what calamari is, it's squid. And this recipe is pretty simple and really easy to do. Now today what we're gonna be using is some squid tubes and that is the actual body part of the squid. You have to be careful not to overcook these or you will end up with a rubbery texture. Now for this recipe you're gonna need a medium heat and you can do this on the Weber Genesis, you can do it on the Weber Kettle, you can even do it on the Weber Q. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Before we jump in and grab our ingredients, there's a couple of things you're gonna need. Now you're either gonna need a flat plate or a Q-Air pan. And I'm gonna use the Q-Air pan because it's non-stick and I find the Q-Air pan a lot easier to use when cooking squid on the Q. Now there will be links in the description below for everything we use today, so make sure you check those out at the end of this video. get the skin off the garlic, all you want to do is cut the end off, squeeze the garlic and all that skin should peel off. I'll just get the skin off the rest. We're going to start by thinly chopping five cloves of garlic. That's not mincing, we're going to be thinly slicing them. Just transfer that into our bowl. So now we've got our red chilli pepper, these are the ones I always like to use. We're just going to chop that end off there. And then what I like to do is roll it in my hand, just to release all those pepper seeds. Now all those seeds are released, I just like to roughly chop it. Just transfer that into our bowl. Well, so what we're using today is known as squid tubes. Now these squids have already been cleaned out and we just get them straight from the freezer section and I will put an Amazon link below. Or you can buy them fresh. And then what I do is I take two out, put them in a plastic bag and just leave them in the fridge overnight to defrost. Now you're gonna to wanna to wash these out after. Now what a squid tube is, it's the actual body of the squid. You can get squid rings, and those are just steaks cut into sections, and those are your squid rings. These are squid tubes, like I said, they're the actual body. So we'll swill these out, and I'll show you how we prepare them. So now our squid's clean, you're gonna to wanna to just tap it dry with some paper towel. Now with our squid, we're just gonna cut some diagonal shallow cuts across that squid, just on the one side. And the same on the other one. Then we're gonna baste it with some olive oil, some salt and pepper, and we're gonna repeat that on the opposite side. And now they're ready to go on the grill. So now our pan's heated up, we're gonna put our squid steaks in and we're gonna cook them for around one and a half minutes on each side. So that's three minutes total. And now they're done, so we're just gonna take them off and set them to one side. Now using the same pan, we're gonna add two tablespoons of extra virgin Spanish olive oil, along with slices of garlic and our hot pepper. 
and we're going to mix them around with the oil and as always you know to scrape up anything that's left behind from the squid it's going to give the sauce a magical flavour. Now a minute after we've added the oil, the garlic and the peppers we're going to add three tablespoons of white wine, a squeeze of lemon juice, a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley or teaspoon of dried parsley, then some sea salt and some black pepper. Give it a quick mix and then leave that for two minutes. After two minutes of adding the wine, the garlic sauce, we're ready to go. Now we're going to turn off the heat and transfer the sauce on top of the squid steaks. Don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the ingredients will be down there as well. Right, so that squid's come off and it smells amazing. We've added that sauce that we made, so it's time to dive in and give it a taste test. And don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the ingredients will be down there as well. So you can have a side dish with this and I'll put an icon above linking to the side dishes that I've done in the past. Right, so that squid steak tastes amazing. The flavours balance really well. That white wine works well with that lemon and that pepper. The pepper wasn't too hot. Again, you can use whatever pepper you like. I tend to use a cayman pepper and finds it, it spices it up really well. Now you can do this on the Weber Cube, you can do it on the Genesis, and you can even do it on the Weber Kettle. All you need is a direct to medium high heat, either a skillet or a Q-Air frying pan. Now I use the Q-Air pan because it was non-stick and I wasn't adding any excess oil to that squid and it came out superb. As well as that, what you want to do like I did in the video was make your sauce in that pan so you've still got the flavours of that squid and mix that in with the sauce and it just works a treat. If you tried this recipe, let me know how you get on in the comments down below and if you enjoyed it. So again, those new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content that contemplates showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you next one. And I was just oiling the calamari. Now, if you try this recipe, make sure you comment down below. And let me know how you get the bet.